Hello, fuckers. Uh, just gonna show you how I made this, like, flattened kind of a moss pole plank thing for my shingle vine to climb up. Um, this is called, like, nursery, uh, nursery mesh or something like that. I can't remember what the, uh, sticker said. These are just four inch zip ties. This is uh, dampened and wrung out long fiber sphagnum moss. So I start out with some zip ties and put these together like that. They already have this kind of con concave shape, convex shape from being in a roll. But just start lining, okay. lining it up. Probably can't see that. Line up the holes and start zip stripping on one side. I don't tighten them up very tight so I can line everything up. And then I'll tighten it up a little more. Uh, you can use however many you feel necessary to keep this thing together at the seam. But you just continue that the whole way down. I ain't got any editing software or any skills at editing anyway, so I'll probably just have you watch this whole goddamn process. Uh, but it is a little tedious. It goes pretty quick though once you get started and you got it lined up. how the hell this is coming out I can't look at what the hell is going on well we'll just do this maybe all right, fuckers, I'm back. I got it all zip-tied loosely on one side. Uh, you can go back and add more zip-ties later. Then you just open it up, take your moss, and lay it fairly evenly in the middle. Pick out any Thing you don't want in there any solid pieces of wood or other leaves and I might have wanted to make a little wet a little bit more shit yeah I'm gonna have to son of a bitch well I gotta go wet some more I'll be right back Okay, fuckers, I'm back. Oh, I got another fistful of moss. Finished spreading it out on this mesh fairly evenly. So everything comes together and it's all nice and uniform. Uh, but yeah, so far my shingle vine loves this thing. Well, not this one, but the other one I made. Shit, I still should have made some more. Alright, that looks good enough. Then you just fold it over. Tuck in any straggler stuff so it's all as even as possible then 
you get some more zip strips. And start over again. Putting them in where you line it up. And this side I tighten right down nice and tight. Then it's going to stay where you put it. Alright, so I'm just going to finish this and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I got them all on there, all tightened down, all fairly even. I'll take a pair of diagonal cutters and just cut the ends off the zip ties. Maybe use the cutter to help tighten them down a little more just cut the things flush and then we move to the next step Last time I used two bamboo garden stakes that I split, well one that I split into two. Um, this time I'm trying something different for the stakes. Because this thing won't really stand up too well without a little bit of support. So, this time I'm going to try some bamboo marshmallow roasting sticks that we have left over from this summer. And that's these right here. Got a little stabby end on it right there. But uh, you just line it up with the top. You could use the little zip part of the uh, zip tie to like lean it on and then just like you did the side you wrap the zip tie around everything through the mesh and around the stake and just however many you think you need to hold this up straight I think I might need longer stakes I need to shorten this up I could always cut it to length later on But you just want it to be secure to the, the stake. And I think I'm going to stop it right here. I'm going to have to cut like three or four inches off of this thing for the stakes to be able to go deep enough into the dirt to hold it up, into the soil in the pot to hold it up. There's one side. Here's the other.
<coughs> and to save you from having to watch too much, I'll probably pause it here in a second. Or Yeah, my shingling and climbing plants ought to love these. I know my shingling plants do. But that's it. You got the little stakey end here, stabbed down into the soil. It's flat as possible. Works kind of like a, uh, a plank but kind of like a moss pole too. Uh, hope you found that helpful. Bye fuckers.